everybody. Welcome back to another 2007 Ford Ranger Sport video. This week, I'm going to do something I did in my last truck. I'm going to install front tow hooks. Stay tuned. I picked these up off of eBay, and uh, they were from a, a southern state. They weren't from up north where it's uh, very rusty, but these do have some surface rust on them. So just like I did with the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, take off the loose rust, kind of sand them down, clean them. I've got some primer here. And then I think with these, I'm going to go red because I have tons of extra Miata paint left over. So I like the idea of red. Of course, my last Ranger was red. So I think I ended up doing a bronze on there, but this truck being black and the sport decals being black, plus the fact that I have probably a whole case of this, red's gonna win out. So these are in pretty good condition. Like I said, just a little bit of surface corrosion and they're dirty, so I'll clean them up, sand them down. And then as far as hardware goes, I picked these up from Home Depot. These are technically not as strong of a grade of a bolt as you need, but my truck is two wheel drive and it's not gonna be off road. So I'm not gonna be really pulling on them. Here's the actual size of the hardware. M12 by 1.75 by 35. So that information, not so easy to find online, believe it or not, but I did find it and I did confirm that these definitely fit so first thing to do let's uh let's get started cleaning and sanding all right moving along these are actually in really good shape uh these were from a texas truck so you can see where the powder coat is kind of flaked away and it's flaked away in the exact same place on both of them turn that around so you can see it yeah so obviously some sort of weak area, but uh, I've just got it scraped off with a screwdriver. Got some 400 grit. I'm just gonna give the whole thing a good sand. There's some, I can see these have probably been used before. No big deal at all. So I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna sand them, clean them, put some primer on them, and then we'll shoot some color. Okay, a couple of coats of primer and these are almost dry you can say this is the underside and it's not really in the best shape uh, you can tell it's been used before looks like they probably had some chains wrapped around at least this one anyway not too worried about it i'm gonna let this dry a few more minutes and then give it a coat of red and uh, i think it'll look pretty good because the the sport decal is red And really the main reason I want to add them is because I, I just don't like this big empty space that's right there. And if you don't have a front license plate, it's even, it's even worse. So I think it'll end up looking good. I still have lots of parts uh, in the garage that I ordered for this and received them, but it's been so hot and I've had a lot going on. So I guess I need to get busy. I need to refinish these wheels. Uh, need to finish buffing the roof. Need to do a lot of stuff. Plus the truck is super dusty right now. But uh, anyway, onward and upward. Let's wait for that primer to dry and then spray them red. A couple of coats of red. I'm actually really happy with the way they turned out. This, uh, which is not typical, this gloss red really seemed to kind of hide all the imperfections that were existing, so not gonna argue with that. I'll probably let these dry overnight and then install them tomorrow because I want it to be nice and dry by the time I bang them around and try to put bolts through them. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Moving on to the next project. When I first bought this truck, I did a walk around and one of my viewers, Robert, happened to notice that my throttle body 
uh, cover, linkage cover, I guess you call it, was missing. And strangely enough, as I was actually searching on eBay to buy one, he messaged me and said he had one. So gave it to me for a very good price. So I'm not sure why this is missing, but as you can see this spring right here, it's kind of, let me zoom in a little bit. It should be going under those, uh, it should be attached to these two holes down there. Yeah, right there, but it's not, and it's, pretty loose so this is actually the hole where the fastener goes right there so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that and I think I have to take this elbow off in order to be able to get that to fit so as far as the actual size fastener that it takes I'm not sure I'm just gonna kind of dig around in my bucket of bolts and see what I have and I'll make something do uh, but hardly a show truck but at least it'll be a little more complete before I move on I decided to give this a quick coat of this duple color uh, vinyl and fabric paint that I had uh, just kind of clean it up a little bit and let that dry I realize uh, the truck is not perfect but since I had it off and I probably won't ever have that off again, or at least for a very long time. And I've got this. Uh, this is this is pretty flexible. Yeah, see, flexible finish, uh, trim and seats. So that'll dry to a nice uh, satin black. Okay, with this dry and uh, looking pretty good, let's go ahead and pop it on. So it looks like I just need to, which I already did, uh, undo this elbow and slip this on and then I did manage to find uh, a fastener it's just a little bit too small but it'll do for now until I can find uh, the right one if it ends up being a problem that is if not it's totally fine so let me go ahead and get this in place I'll show you what it looks like when it's done okay well that didn't take any time at all it's finished it looks good and it actually looks too good so I might uh, kind of give a coat of that same paint, maybe to the fuse box cover. But again, this is a truck. This is hardly a show vehicle, but uh, I do like my stuff to look nice. So yeah, that fastener ended up working. It's kind of zinc coated, but that's all right. I'll leave it. I think it doesn't look too bad. All right, on to the next project. Welcome back. It's the next day. These are painted. They're dry. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Got the bolts and I'm ready to lay under the truck and install these. I think the oil cooler lines at least might be in the way, but we'll see. So let's get these installed. So you joined me here under the truck and this is where it mounts, but much to my surprise, there are no holes. So I guess, I mean, that's where it fits perfectly. So I guess I'm gonna have to mark and drill some holes. Hope I have a drill, a drill bit that's big enough. Eh, no big deal. Okay, well, good news. I was able to drill these two correct size holes through here. Bad news is I can't drill the one that goes through the front. Uh, with the front bumper on, but that's not really a big deal because I have to take the front bumper off to replace these fog lights anyway. So that one will just wait. Um, found an appropriate size drill bit, got it drilled through. So now I just need to go ahead and secure uh, this driver's side, which I will do right now. All right, driver's side is in, with the exception of this uh, front one. Let's, uh, like I mentioned, I can't, there's no space to get the drill in to do that, but I don't know. Uh, you guys that have a four x four sport, this uh, cross member sure doesn't look beefy enough to support tow hooks. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I mean, that's that's clearly where they go. It's got these 
kind of these perches right there for it, just no holes drilled in it. My uh, O2 Edge did not have the tow hooks, but did have the holes drilled in it, so I didn't have to do that. But anyway, uh, I'm happy with the way it looks. So now I'll uh, go ahead and, and tackle this uh, passenger side. And I don't know if you can see the, uh, yeah, these lines aren't in the way, so that won't be a big deal. So let me get this side done. Finished, not a problem. Again, I wasn't able to do the front one because the bumper's in the way. We'll do that at a later time. Let's take a look at the finished product. I'm pretty happy with the way they look. I definitely like the contrast uh, with the red on the black, the very dirty black truck. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. Pretty cool upgrade you can make for not a lot of money. Did that on my, my last Ranger and uh, I like the way it fills that empty space that would otherwise be there. One more project done. Let me know what you think. Also, like I said, if you have a four-wheel drive sport, let me know if you have a different front cross member. Um, I suspect either you have a different one or yours, of course, came with those tow hooks already installed. So either way, let me know down below. So until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.